morning my dear students in our earlier videos you have learnt about infinitives and participles today we will learn about gerunds now what is a gerund gerund is usually defined as a word ending in ing now already you have seen present participle present participle is also verb plus ing the same way gerund is also verb plus ing then what is the difference between gerund and present participle a present participle acts as an adjective while gerund acts as a noun so that is a difference so when the ing form of verb acts as a noun in the sentence it is called gerund as we form participles in the same way we form gerunds so how to form a gerunds base form of verb plus ing like walk plus ing walking talk plus ing talking learn plus ing learning so in the formation of present participle and gerund is same only the difference is present participle acts as an adjective while gerund acts as a noun okay let us see example i enjoy learning english now i have told you earlier that when we use to be form of verb that is am is are was were before ing form then it indicates the tense so that is a verb so without to be form of the verb if ing form of verb is used then it is non finite verb so here now see i enjoy learning english so i enjoy what learning so learning is gerund because it acts as a noun the main verb in this sentence is enjoy so non finite verbs are not the main verbs of the sentence okay let's move further now what is the position of a gerund as i told you gerund functions as a noun so a noun may be either a subject it may be an object or it may be object of preposition okay now let us see the examples gerund used as subject of the sentence traveling might satisfy your desire for new experiences now to identify gerund first you have to see whether it is ing form of verb so traveling it is ing form of verb isn't it so does it act as a noun yes it acts as a noun what might satisfy your desire for new experience traveling so it is a noun in this sentence it acts as a noun in this sentence and so it is a gerund and it is not a pa present participle okay next example reading is my hobby so reading ing form of the verb yes does it function as a noun yes ask the question what what is my hobby reading so it functions as a noun and it is the subject so it is a gerund seeing is believing now see here there are two ing form of verbs seeing and believing isn't it but before believing there is to be form of verb so it is not a gerund so what is believing seeing is believing so seeing is your gerund next example swimming is best sport ever 
ing form of verb swimming ask the question what what is the best form of sport swimming so it is gerund which is the subject of the sentence which is used as subject of the sentence looking for work can be a difficult task so ing form of the verb is looking what is a difficult task looking for work so looking is gerund which is the subject of the sentence now let us see the gerunds used as object of the sentence object means the receiver of the action right so let us see the examples they do not appreciate my singing so which is the ing form of the verb singing so here also you need to ask the question what what they do not appreciate singing so singing is the gerund which is the object of the sentence sofia likes jumping on the trampoline ing which is the ing form jumping does it act as a noun so to see you have to ask the question what isn't it sofia likes what sofia likes jumping so this is also a gerund and it is the object of the verb likes in the summer kara prefers swimming what does kara prefer swimming so it is a gerund which is the object in this sentence jenny loves playing video games jenny loves what playing the children enjoyed watching the parade what did the children enjoy watching the parade so watching is your gerund which is the object of the verb enjoyed now let's see gerunds used as object of preposition what is preposition preposition is a word which is placed before a noun or a pronoun to show its relation with the other words in the sentence right pre means before position means placed so the word which is placed before a noun or pronoun to show its relation with the other words in the sentence now let's see the example he is prohibited from reading now ing form of the verb is reading and before it from is the preposition so reading is the object of preposition from so he is prohibited from what reading next example i will study for exam by taking good notes so the verb ing form of word is taking and it is the object of preposition by by is the preposition and taking is the object of preposition by next example you will need a new pen set for drawing pictures so ing form of the verb is drawing and it is the object of preposition for he is excited about playing tennis he is excited about what playing tennis about is the preposition and playing act is used as a object of preposition about steve was tired of studying now studying what was steve tired of studying studying is your gerund which is used as the object of preposition of okay so gerunds can be used as a subject as an object or as an object of preposition thank you Hi.